Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. Is the electric blue Acara the perfect cichlid? Let's talk about it. So the electric blue Acara is becoming one of my favorite fish for a variety of reasons. Uh, primarily because they give me a break from the aggression that I normally experience with my African cichlids and even some of the other um, uh, Central and so South American cichlids like you know like the Surimanensis, Geophagus Surimanensis going after each other uh, some of the viejas that get into it with each other even some of the Severums that go after each other with the um, with the electric blue Okaras what I'm noticing is a very peaceful a very peaceful fish and uh, one that is very very colorful Something about the uh, fish that you should know is that they can get up to uh, over seven inches. They can get pretty large, uh, not super large, but you know, good size. And um, they, you know, they like protein, including things like brine shrimp and uh, blood worms, things like that. But, but you should include some veggie in the diet. Not, not a bad idea. And uh, with any fish, really. But um, they do love their protein. I love the color. I love the color in the body, the, uh, fr the, the very sort of orangey red fringe on the fins. And, uh, but probably most of all what I like is their temperament. They seem to just want to kind of hang around and, uh, and uh, they get along fine with tank mates. I've had no, zero issues actually um, between each other. You see here I have two of them uh, with each other and also uh, no issues with the tank mates that I've had them in um, with recently. In this case, some um, chocolate cichlids, some geophagus, and some red spotted severums, and some baby uh, baby green tares. They just leave the other fish alone. They're not. They don't even seem interested in them. Now, should they end up being a pair and uh, pairing off and breeding, that of course can bring about uh, behavior that that might be aggressive, but um, up until this point, I can say these fish have been totally peaceful. Love the color, love the temperament, and uh, diet-wise, of course, in the wild, they'll, they, um, they tend to, to dig around and, and eat you know, little, little microorganisms, and, uh, but if you're feeding them, giving them a treat of some blood worms, some brine shrimp is not a bad idea. I like to include a little vegetable in uh, it, in the diet of most of my fish, just to kind of keep their uh, you know just keep their 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 intestines kind of clear and moving, and uh, you definitely don't want to overfeed this or really any fish for that matter. I feed them a couple times a day. I give them a little bit of uh, the extreme flakes, which do include some vegetables, and I do throw some vegetable pellets in there from time to time. Things like spirulina. So at any rate, I'm really liking this fish, and uh, they are a, uh, a, what you would call a South American uh, cichlid, and uh, for tank mates, certainly things like, uh, like Severums and Geophagus will work out. Not sure if I would keep them with some of the uh, fish that get really large, like your viejas, and, uh, and maybe something like a, um, maybe even the chocolate cichlids and the green tear eventually might be a little bit too big for, uh, you know, for the, uh, for the electric blue Acara. So I think I'll probably end up keeping them with, maybe with Severums and Geophagus and, you know, tank mates like that. And uh, I think that would work out fine. So any comments or experience that you have with this fish, share it below. Um, I'm always learning, especially now as I get into South American cichlids you know, as a brand new thing. So any, any help and comments you might uh, want to share, as well as if you can tell by this video, do I have a male and female? Do I have a couple females, a couple males? If you can tell what I have, comment below what your best guess is, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in. We could talk about this and other topics on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream, 11 a.m. Central Time, is the start time for that. That's 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern, depending where you are. All right. And if you like the content of this channel, consider giving it a thumbs up. 
and uh, hitting that bell and subscribing. And also, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang by joining the uh, Patreon. Uh, the, it's a simple membership. I'll include a link in the description. It goes from $3 a month on up and does provide you with behind-the-scenes content as well as uh, previews of upcoming videos before anybody else sees them. All right, that's it for me. See you next time. Bye-bye.